Hello friends, myself Mila Kral. I am working in flyingcrew.com as an HR manager. And if you also like to shape your career as an aviation HR manager, then we are here to help you. We are starting a HR management training courses. If you like more information, please watch the video till the last. My email ID and contact number is mentioned in this video. So let's get started. So this topic is about JetBlue first officer. Okay. So first officer is responsible for assisting the pilot in command with the safe, consistent outcome of the flight. The first officer has an integral role in ensuring a positive JetBlue experience for their customers and fellow crew members by displaying a commitment to their five core values. In addition, the fly first officer maintains compliance with applicable federal aviation regulations that is FAR and JetBlue Airways policies, procedures and risk controls. If I talk about responsibilities, then here you have to assist the captain in ensuring the safe outcome of each flight in accordance with all federal aviation regulations and company policy procedures and risk controls. Safely operate the aircraft in accordance with all federal aviation regulations and company policies. Provide an excellent experience for all customers and hold the JetBlue values of safety, caring, integrity, passion and fun. You have to work with fellow JetBlue crew members or a business partners to ensure a team approach to proactively solve customer operational challenges. We have to maintain skills, training and qualifications in accordance with all federal aviation regulations and company policies. You have to identify and re recall JetBlue safety maintenance system. You have to identify safety and security concerns, issues, incidents that should be reported and report them whenever possible and by any means necessary including JetBlue's confidential reporting system. If I talk about minimum experience, then high school diploma or general education development diploma is required. Valid Federal Aviation Administration FAA Airline Transport Certificate with Airplane Category is required. 15 hours with minimum of 500 hours is fixed wing airplanes is required. Current FAA First Class Medical Certificate is required. Valid Federal Communication Commission Radio Telephone Operator's Permit is required. Currently in possession of U.S. Passport or U.S. Permanent Residence Card with foreign passport and applicable visas to freely enter and exit without restrictions is required to all JetBlue destinations. Okay. Travel documents must remain valid throughout all phases of training and employment. Three reference letters from pilots who can personally assess, attest to the candidate's flying skills. Knowledge of MS Office, Adobe Reader and ability to use browsers effectively including iOS. Excellent communication skills. Complete and continue fluency in written and spoken English. Ability to think creatively. Excellent interpersonal skills. Problem solving skills. Able to report within two hours of notice to assigned base location. Must be able to adhere to JetBlue flight crew member uniform appearance standards, knowledge of basic computer and electronic table devices, and able to read guidance as found in required manuals, able to work as a team to deliver JetBlue experience. I talk about qualifications, then bachelor degree is required. Letter of recommendation from current JetBlue pilots who can personally attest to the candidate's flying skills. 35 hours or more in total flight time in aircraft is required. Greater than 1000 hours turbine PIC fixed wing is required and must be available to work any schedule. So if you meet with this qualification, you can apply. And if you want more information, please subscribe to our channel and flyingcrew.com. Thank you.